Hello, friends and fellow farmers. Oh, let's put that away. It's the 22nd. I don't know what's going on. Um, go check on all of our... We were grinding so much stuff up outside. Where's the kids? Are they both in here? They are. Bing. I'm going to head into town today just for fun. I'll be back in a while. That's a good idea. How's it looking? Yeah, gold star. It's all a gold star in there. You hear the Junimo's harvesting. It's a good, uh, good sound. Hey, how's it going? All right. Now we were smelting down like all of the wood we cut down into uh, into coal here, which is you know it's a decent pile of coal. Um, we're grinding down the logs, so our whole operation here is like. Operation excessive. Uh, let's go dump these ones in the shed. There we go. I have no idea how much stuff I'm actually practically processing in a day. It seems like a reasonable amount. But I'm like, who knows. Okay, how are we looking here? Okay, I'm gonna fill... Uh, I don't have the room. Okay, I'm gonna fill stuff up soon. Let's get rid of that for today. And put some stuff away here. Okay. Now, yeah, we're still, I'm kind of stumped on iron. Iron is still the big holdout. Um, but really, I mean, and I can, make, I can make nine. I still need a massive amount of copper again. We kind of already went through this whole dance, uh, but I'm out of copper, I'm out of iron, so I'm going to have to go and get some more of those goodies soon here, I think. Let's see, um, it is Monday, we'll have to, oh, well, my ambition was to get out and go and do some stuff, uh, um, elsewhere, <laughs> elsewhere, you know, the other place. I wanted to get a few other things done, but, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll go and do a little bit of more recovery here. I've got 26 more cakes to put down. Um, I'm trying to think of what exactly we were working. Yeah. Doom, 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 doom. I'll bring those with me. I think what I'm going to do is maybe leave that here. Things I don't need to pack around with me, right? Let's see, what do I have? I don't really need to bring my fishing rod and my scythe with me everywhere. Or my watering can. I'll bring my other junk. Um, okay, let's get on out of here. I wanted to go dump off this pineapple anyway. Alright, let's see where we're at. What is what has grown in? What has gotten excessive here? So yeah, I feel like if I were to I know the kit follows along with this route along here, but I think I might just leave all of this as it is. Lest I run into troubles. I don't know what I was planning on doing here, but I'm just gonna fill these. And it doesn't seem, you know, I feel like I'm not going to run into too much trouble with the way I've got it currently set up. Let's get our oak resin. Okay. Yeah, it seems kind of done. I think I might leave that. Yeah. Oh, right, okay, and I was trying to path out a few things here. <laughs> I really don't have any... Okay, so there's definitely a path along here. The problem is if I don't catch it quick enough, I think the uh, the thing comes and like grows in. Yeah, like there's some kind of path that goes along here. I don't even know. It's like, should I bother filling this in first? Or should I go... Yeah, I guess. 
Oh, I don't know. I just don't know. I almost feel like the railway area would be better now that I'm looking at it. Okay, we got some hardwood grown in here, though. Come and gather that. Okay, here we go. Away we go. Okay. You get so much stuff. It's like 60 some hardwood. Alright, I'm gonna just run. <laughs> There's so much stuff here. It is ridiculous. Uh, right, I didn't even bring my other thing. Okay. Let's go down to the farm. I think that I, I barely use the, 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 the little quick travel anymore. Oh yeah, okay, sure, there's a few things. Okay, let's have some, have some coffee. Let's get going for the day. I don't feel like I have like that, like a full thing to harvest here, because I feel like we just did that. Didn't we? Maybe. I don't know. I'm worried now. Let's see what we're looking at. So the last time we got like 600,000 uh, just from our like that basic little winery process. Yeah, it's it's so ridiculous. It's gonna... Um, I think this... It, it's weird. I think it's just because we've now built so much infrastructure when we process like one batch of anything. It's just gonna be ridiculous. This... I feel like the... Uh, the gap on this like last 20 million is just going to close so quick. Uh, it's funny because it, up getting to this point seemed like a bit of a, like a trickle. Like it wasn't really that quick. And now it's like, I feel that we're just going to go woof and it's going to be um, hitting that point. But yeah, I def um, you know, after all the, the kind of thinking about it out loud and then feedback, I, I do think of what I'm going to do is with this series. Uh, I'll probably get to a certain point, and then I'm just going to probably set it aside and wait till 1.6 comes out. Um, you know, if I do end up setting aside at all, we'll see. Um, but what I would probably do is wait um, till then before I mess with it, because you know, this is a ridiculous world, and it's a perfect sandbox for you know trying out anything and everything. Once 1.6, whatever it includes, I don't think it's going to be from what I. Have absorbed. I don't think it's as it's not gonna be like as map. 1.5 was a really big update that seemed to that changed the game in, in extra like hugely. Like it just a massive change to the whole w way you played the game. Really having this giant greenhouse style thing out here that's a huge huge change. So you got the sense that 1.6 isn't gonna be that big of an update, but still we kind of need. Yeah, we'll see. All right. Now thinking of what uh, what's gone on since the last uh, last time we were here, and to watching another um, what is it? <laughs> the Avengers: Infinity War or something? I really don't care for the Avenger movies. I, I'm gonna just come out and say it. They're just so bombastic and so self-referential, and it's. I get that there's a lot of fan service going on, and there's way too many plot lines you're trying to interconnect. And I think in the, the, the mush of doing that, I don't know, it just ceases to be that interesting. I, uh, we skipped one of the Captain America movies, and I'm like, I regret that so much now. Like, we both don't like Captain America, so we we're like, ah, we can skip this one. No, it had, like, plot that, like, spiraled out and has affected everything since. And there's been multiple times where we're like, what? What happened now? And there's all this, like, weird plot that happened. <laughs> like, so weird. Yeah, and it felt like, uh, the, uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy characters got all the really funny lines. It's as though it was there was a different writer working on chunks of different parts of the movie. It really didn't feel cohesive. Um, I mean, it felt true to the characters in each segment, but it definitely felt like there was different writers at work, and I don't know. It was it was so much. I don't know if it, it's an experience. It's not. It it didn't feel. I wasn't 
yeah, it wasn't a satisfying experience, really. I could have done without it. I mean, a great spectacle, but also the, uh, I think also when the plot lines get so big and ridiculous, they, they just become kind of, I don't know, I, I don't know what word is, they become like, not cartoony, because that sounds like a pejorative, but it's like a absurdist. I don't know. I like a, no, not absurdist, because absurdism's good. It's, uh, yeah, ridiculous and not in a good way. <laughs> I don't even know. But anyway, that was, uh, I don't even know what, I think there's another Adventures movie coming up next. I think we're both dreading it, because they're so long and they're so involved. And it's like, oh, do we need to go back and watch that other movie now? Because that was confusing. We'll see. <laughs> Keep you posted. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I definitely, it's uh, it's hard to keep up the steam on those things. It's, I mean, I don't think, again, nobody should watch the number of them that we've watched in the past six months. That seems like a terrible idea. Um, I, again, I can, there's pockets I've enjoyed. It's been an interesting experience. I highly recommend in, uh, avoiding a franchise for 20 years and then just downing the entire thing. That's uh, that's the way to do it. It's like binge watching a, a TV show, except bigger, <laughs> more excessive. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else I'm going to be watching here in the next bit. Um, yeah, probably more of that. So we're heading into the uh, the festive season here. There'll be a bit more time to spend doing that sort of stuff. So that'll be that'll be at least fun. I'm looking forward to digging into some some other things. Um, I know uh, Mark Cousins, the film um, I don't know, film critic. I don't know what you want to identify as, but the, uh, the series on women in filmmaking, which is like I don't even know, 14 or 15 part series that are like an hour each. I'd like to watch that. That seems like a fun watch. That's the kind of thing that I, I view as enjoyable. And some, I'd learn something about that. I would enjoy that a lot. So I think I'm going to probably sit and watch as much of that as I can. Uh, probably with my kid. We'll enjoy that. And I don't know. I'm not sure what else. I wanted to watch the uh, the new Knives Out movie in the theater, but it was here for such a short period of time. There's not many things we want to watch in the theater, and not many things that are like appropriate that we'd all enjoy. But the second one was like low enough age rating that it didn't, it seemed fine. Um, that would have been nice. So, I don't know. We'll see what else there is coming up. I think there's another Marvel movie coming to the theater, because there always is. So maybe now that's, we're going to start getting our uh, pummeled in the, the head at, at the theater instead of at home, which I, I don't know if I prefer that or not. I don't think I do. <laughs> But I think the kid will, so that's the main part. I think she'll enjoy that a lot. That's why we go, right? Oh my gosh, the wine is up too. What? Oh, self, why didn't you tell me? I don't know, self. I didn't think you needed to know this. Oh my goodness. It is what it's... This is a massive day. Yeah, so I'm very curious now, like, what what is the payday at each time here? It's got to be, I don't know, is it, are we in the millions each time? It must be, I mean, it's kind of absurd. We're at a ridiculous point. I'm trying to remember to get all the pineapples, but, like, seriously. <laughs> it's hard. I think I'm basically still just mostly focusing on processing the uh, ancient fruit because of the price point on that stuff. So 250, I mean, in the afternoon. We can definitely um, get more, okay. So, uh, let's do it. Okay, I feel like I should probably have another meal here. Oh, here, let's put these in here, just so I get these out of my inventory. Okay, 
away we go. Part two. And... There we are. And in terms of uh, reading, I'm, I'm still reading along a book. Uh, this is how they tell me the world ends, uh, which is a non-fiction book on um, basically uh, cyber warfare. And it's uh, really, really good. I, I was kind of skeptical. And uh, the opening is, is okay. Um, it's turned out to be really, really nicely done. Really high level, um, not too gritty in the details, which I mean, sometimes you want. But with this, it's, it's dealing with such a wide swath of stuff. It's nice that it's somewhat high level and some of it I'm already familiar with. So it's just a good refresher, um, but it covers you know, uh, everything. It look, goes back to the history of uh, cyber warfare, um, looking at the, the Russians infiltrating American typewriters in the embassies during the Cold War kind of stuff, which is just astounding historical stuff. Being able to pick up uh, the click-clack of uh, selectric typewriter keys and transmit that into a signal that was able to basically grab transmissions right off typewriters before they were even um, you know, sent as cables or encoded or whatever, um, or you know, cryptographically secreted and uh, transmitted. So, really, really interesting book. And uh, the last section I was reading was about uh, the Stuxnet virus that came out of the uh, attack on the Irani nuclear facility uh, and how that thing got out into the wild. So, if you're at all interested in that sort of stuff, uh, very enjoyable book. So yeah, that's that's been a pleasant surprise lately. It tends to be how my reading goes. I will read a, a combination of really random stuff. Uh, I mean, that's not entirely random. I like to read tech books. I didn't intend to read that book. Uh, it wasn't in my lineup of books, but I saw it at the library when I was grabbing Henry Novick's last book, and I thought, that sounds really good. Let's give it a go. And I'll try anything under 400 pages, because I think, well, that's not the worst. That's not going to take the most amount of time. So I can I can cope with that. Uh, so yeah, that was uh, that was enjoyable so far. Maybe 150 pages in. It's really good. Would recommend, even if for just that part. Maybe it goes downhill, but I suspect not. Um, yeah, interesting looking at uh, how we tend to view the world and through the lens of, uh, you know, cyber warfare. People who have to, uh, have sleep to, sleepless nights thinking about that stuff all the time. I can't even imagine. Alright, let's get these filled. 750, I don't know if we're going to make it to the lane. I always think this, though, every single time. Like, will we make it to the laneway? Won't we make it to the laneway? I don't even know. I'm trying to get them all, but like, I also don't care that much. I'm gonna run out of ancient fruit before I even get done this section. So we've officially now got more kegs than I can use. Oop. a decent shot. It's going to be more than 120 some kegs left, or uh, less than. Yeah, more than 120 kegs, more than 100 at this point. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm going to be totally overconfident on that. There we go. Also started watching uh, Deadwood again. Which, for some reason, we'd started watching years ago, and then it wasn't the right time for some reason. And something else was in the way, so we stopped watching it, and uh, never got back to it. And we meant to, because it's got a lot of great character actors in it, and it's uh, it's so far enjoyable. I don't know. So way, way back content. <laughs> Definitely, uh, 
it's not like there's still so much stuff to watch, but we're we're on that. And obviously not with children. We should put in this provisio, not as a family, because it's uh, not a family-friendly show by any measure. That's the hard part, though, is uh, finding things and that you have time to watch when you're not going to have uh, traumatized children walk in. Okay, that's it. Oh, I think that's good. What do I have? Oh, okay, we, I've got enough I can go do. Let's see here. Yeah, I mean... Okay. That's a lot. Um, we'll blast back. Let's get our copy here. Timothy, quickly. To the winery. I don't know why I try and do this all one day. Like, it's really... It's more than a one-day job. I guess because we almost can. It's comically fast, like... Can you mention actually trying to do run a thing this quickly? This is like cook serve delicious slash winery. Or uh, overcooked, I should say. That would be more like it. Think of the ridiculous running around. That's overcooked. Games that we, we love in this house but don't play very often because I, I think it would just lead to uh, conflict. We play every once in a while. It's a holiday thing. We'll break that out. Okay, 12, 30. Oh, we might get this done. We're very close this time. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty good. I always forget how much is here. I like it, whether it's... 200. Yeah, it must be 200 and something. Okay. That's that. I think we got everything here. Good enough. Yep, I think we're good. I didn't, I could just zap home, but I thought, you know, we'll, we'll go old school. We'll ride home. Oh, right. And I should have. Okay, so we have uh, 200 uh, pineapple wine and 749 ancient fruit wine. And we'll see how that goes. That's a bit of stuff. And next time we'll go buy some more stone staircases. And we'll grind those up. And uh, stone woes be gone. Alright, see you all next time. Till then, bye bye.